when we checked here there was this yeah there was a door so let's see if we can get uh, an exit visa didn't really want to work here Hello? Kate! Oh, is that you? What's going on? Well, I finally got the mechanical train wound, and I hope it's going to take me to Hans Varlberg. I had to sort things out with a couple of weirdo sailors, and they probably ripped me off. But now I'm blocked behind this massive wall. You should see it. It's huge. I'm not talking about that. I want to know what's going on with Dan. What do you mean? I bumped into him at Maggie's Do, and he said you'd argued. That's a bit over the top. Things got a bit heated the last time we called, that's all. No need to go overboard. I don't mean to be Miss Melodramatic, but he didn't seem in such great shape. He had his down-in-the-dumps head on. <laughs> like Dan has a down-in-the-dumps head. Well, yeah, when that shock of hair flops over his forehead and his eyes mist up and his eyebrows kind of creep together. Mm -hmm. I'd never noticed. Well, maybe I did go a bit too far, but he's got such a goody two-shoes image of me that sometimes I just lose it. And this case is taking up a lot of headspace. I was just looking for a bit of compassion. Well, you sure got mine. So, what's going down? Like I said before, I'm kind of getting somewhere, but it's slow. This Hans Vorlberg guy is getting more and more fascinating by the day. Okay, well, anyway, it doesn't sound like you're bored. Not like back here in the office. Every day is boredom day. Just no fun without you. When are you coming back? Shouldn't be long, I hope. Look, I've got to go. See you soon. Well, call us again real soon. And be easier on Dan next time, huh? I'll try. Should we go here? Locked. No point. It's locked. Other way, then. All the way up on top of the wall. There we go. Let's talk to this gentleman. Good day to you, sir. Captain Melatesta, Commander in Chief of the Barkstadt Border Post, at your service, madam. I'm on a mission. Oh, let's introduce ourselves first. My name is Kate Walker. I've been assigned by my company to find a man who was supposed to be living in Siberia. What a peculiar mission. Taking so many risks for such a futile goal. Captain, to my mind, the military zeal with which you insist on guarding this meaningless wall strikes me as equally futile. <laughs> I should be offended by your words, miss. But I forgive you because you are young and unaware of the very real dangers lurking in store for us. Okay. Wonder what he's guarding. Uh, yes, I'm on a mission. Oh, should I ask him about Hans? Because we did notice that um, Vorlberg key downstairs. Maybe he's heard of him. Is the person who takes care of the gate anywhere around? There is no person who takes care of the gate. Believe you me, ma'am. I have been the one and only guardian of this gate since 1968. That year I took over the position from the late Lieutenant Colonel Malatesta, my own father. In that case, can you tell me how the mechanism works? It sure looks complicated to me. Not at all. It is child's play for anyone who takes the time to work out its surprisingly straightforward logic. And from the looks of your locomotive, it shouldn't pose you any problems. Why do you say that? When I caught sight of your formidable locomotive, I immediately said, Heavens, only Hans Vorlberg could design such an engine. <laughs> and I know what I'm talking about, ma'am, because he invented the gate's original mechanism. It was his last creation here in Barkstadt. So you know Hans Vorlberg? No, I mean, not personally. I was only a baby when he stayed in Barkstadt. My father spoke often of him, and I knew about his inventions. 
He left very many things behind him. I know. In any case, I noticed that his fantastic knack for inventing has not deteriorated with age. Uh, how's he doing? I don't know. In fact, I don't actually know him. I'm searching for him. An inheritance matter. I hope his train is going to lead me to him. And why not? His inventions are always full of surprises. I'm sure they are. Um, yeah, does he uh, ever spend time in that station with the birds? Between the station aviary and this bleak wall, the change in atmosphere is radical, don't you think? It is. It's been a long time since I've been at liberty to judge, miss. My duties forbid me from abandoning my post. Oh dear, so he's been here his entire life and his father probably has as well. Wonder what happened to their mother. Or his mother. Seems like a sad existence. But I do need to get an exit visa though. <laughs> They're doing this weird head bobbing <laughs> to each other. <laughs> Keep doing. I need a visa to cross the wall and to continue my journey to the east. They told me that you are the only person in a position to issue such a visa. Indeed. This responsibility is part of my duties. However, I am not currently issuing visas because nobody must venture beyond the wall. And why not? It's far too dangerous, in particular for a lady of your standing who is traveling unescorted. Dangerous? What exactly do you mean, Captain? The enemy, miss. The enemy. I've been observing them for several years through my telescope. There's one particular horseman stationed yonder. He's a scout from the invading enemy army, and he's been spying on us. So I have to be extremely vigilant. He knows that I know he's there, you understand? And as long as I keep my eye on him, he won't dare try anything. Are you sure? Please, take a look for yourself. He sounds a bit paranoid and... and Unfortunately, he sounded normal at first, but kind of crazy now. Don't mind me if I retire, Captain. Please, Madam. My respects. I do wonder how well he can see because he has a pair of broken glasses. Look, broken glasses. If they belong to the captain, then he sure has eye problems going by those lenses. Let's have a look at the, the horseman, the scout. Oh. Well, that's... How strange. I can't see a Cossack horseman at all. <laughs> There's just a dead tree in the middle of an empty plain. That poor captain must have really bad eyesight. He does. Luckily, we picked something up for that. So, uh, let's talk to him first. See if we can convince him. Good day to you, sir. Captain Melatesta, Commander in Chief of the Barakstad Border Post, at your service, madam. Does he think we're someone else? I need a visa to cross the wall and to continue. Indeed, this and what? It's for Captain. A trip. How long has this Cossack been spying on your wall? For a long time, yes, a very long time. But they could attack at any moment. We simply cannot tell. And he's been in the same position the whole time. Cossacks are soldiers, Miss. They're capable of great resistance and persistence in the face of adversity. I'm sure they are. Don't mind me if I retire, Captain. Please, madam. My respects. Let's offer the good captain some wine with some eyesight enhancing powder. All perfectly legal. There we go. That should do the trick. Colonel, sir. Captain, miss. <laughs> but you have the air of a great officer. Uh, 
you flatter me, miss. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that we frontier soldiers are often forgotten by the military administration. Ah, oh, there's no justice. I sympathize with you, Captain. Let us forget our worries for a moment and have a little drink together in the name of friendship. My pleasure, miss, but the regulations strictly forbid it. Come on. A little glass of wine never hurt anybody, and nobody need know. Wine, miss? You are putting me in a very delicate situation. Don't deny yourself, Captain. Just a little glass. I assure you, it is excellent. Well, perhaps just a drop. We are so great at flirting. Here's your glass. To your good health, Captain. And to yours, Miss. <laughs> that went down quick. Mm. It's been a long time since I've drunk wine in such pleasant company. I admit, it is excellent. Isn't it? You wouldn't think it came from Barakstadt. It is made from the Amazon Forest Sauvignon grape that has been miraculously conserved and cultivated in the station garden. Oh no. Well, well, well. The university authorities kept that one to themselves. You know, Captain, it is essential that I continue my journey eastwards. Please, don't even think about it. As I've said, it's extremely dangerous. The enemy is spying on us. Perhaps your Cossack horseman isn't quite what you thought. Perhaps it's just a dead tree twisted into a strange shape. You should take another look. You never know. Go on, Captain. Give it a try. So be it. I will make this concession to the fairer sex, miss. But it does seem to be quite ridiculous. How is this possible? By what strange magic? How could I have been so wrong for so long? The enemy was only a tree. I'm so ashamed. It's not that bad, Captain. It's only human to make mistakes, after all. A tree. Nothing but a dead tree. Pull yourself together, Captain. It's okay. And now I suppose there's nothing stopping you from issuing me a visa? Yes, of course. There is no more danger. All these years. And now the Cossack has gone. There is nothing left to watch. Captain, you should be delighted. From now on, you don't have to stay pinned to your watchtower. Travel can start up again normally. You will be able to resume your regular duties, like issuing entrance and exit visas. You are right. I will sign you a visa to cross the wall frontier immediately. A thousand apologies. Here, miss. So this is our authorization form, so we can now cross the border uh, past the wall. apparently can be dangerous. Oh, we'll see. Thank you, Captain. And keep your eyes open. <clears throat> Miss, if we could keep this between ourselves, please. For the sake of my honor, you understand? You have my promise, Captain. I also promise to not tell anyone about the secret wine operation. And I told the first person I came across. So, miss. It's also not really a mistake. He's obviously not really fit for the job if he can't see the difference between a branch and a soldier. But that's not of my concern. We've got our ticket or our, our pass. 
so Oscar should be happy. We can finally really continue. Oscar, can't you please forget about procedure just for once? Your request is refused, Kate Walker. Oh. I've got the paperwork. I don't know if I can give it to him this way or if I have to take it out of my inventory. We'll see. Oscar, don't you think we've wasted enough time already? You neglected to find the clockwork winding mechanism for the train with sufficient haste, Kate Walker. <laughs> what nerve! And you refuse to lend a helping hand. Help that could have been invaluable to me. I agree, Kate Walker. If you weren't so obsessed by procedure, we wouldn't have had a hitch. I am not entirely convinced, Kate Walker. Oscar, please, <laughs> let's get in the train and leave, can we? Yes, Kate Walker. Give me the visa. I've got it, but oh. Okay, see you later, Oscar. Yes, Kate Walker. Probably have to do it like this. Oh yes, that's the uh, the mushroom guide that told us that that was the powder we gave to the uh, captain. Um, exit visa. There we go. All done. Here is the visa. I hope it's regulation, my dear Oscar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is regulation. Here is your ticket. Another ticket to travel? Awesome. Have a good journey, Kate Walker. So, can we go now? Indeed. We are already very late, Kate Walker. <sighs> Whose fault is that, Oscar? Right, off we go. I assume the train knows how to... Or maybe I have to... We'll see. Oscar didn't mention anything about the gate blocking our way, so maybe he knows how to open it. Your ticket, please. You know, Oscar, you might not think so, but I also know a thing or two about procedure, and that's one bit of procedure I'm not going to forget about easily. As you wish, Kate Walker. Yes. For once, we're going to do things as I wish. Still have to give him the ticket, I guess. Here you go, Oscar. Thank you, Kate Walker. Now, please return to your seat, Kate Walker. Yes, Oscar. Immediately, Oscar. <laughs> He's trying his best. 